just another group, or at least that's what they thought when they started out in 1997. The group JAG evolved to something far more spectacular they could, than they could have ever dreamed of, each individual member. And here they are on their 10th year anniversary, about to blow up Cape Town, PE and Johannesburg sold out shows in like 10 days. What is this, man? It's good to have you guys here. Uh, and I, I'm look, I actually want to find out the story because we, we, we know that you want to reunite because, you know, all of these bands have been reuniting now. And it's, you know, it's about taking people down a lifetime of memories. But how did this group get together in the first place, Ima? Um, I, I had this idea to start a, a spoof boy band, uh, wanting to rip off other boy bands because back then everybody was like, you know, Backstreet Boys, I want it that way. In 1997, people were still like I throwing like, rocks in the street. Right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Spoof Boy, man. okay. Right, and uh, New Kids on the Block and all those kind of yeah. stuff. And then eventually I, I approached Suri and we got the rest of the guys together. And then we started and we didn't know it was going to go as big as it did. Um, so 10 years later, here we are. Yeah, and what, what are some of the stories like? I mean, I remember when I was with Flipper Coin. Uh, yeah. Being on tour was always a lot of fun, and you guys toured around South Africa quite, quite a lot. What, yeah. what was that time like? I mean, tell, uh, tell us a bit of the crazy we stuff. You know, you we had to work. Um, we had please to say it again. You start off, and you are poor. Well, yeah. Yeah. So we had to do about five shows a day. Um, yeah. We did carnivals, weddings, um, uh, birthday parties, and we would do two shows in the evening. Just bon to bon pay bon rent. You did bon misses. Well, one, but a child. <laughs> <laughs> the one we did was awesome. <laughs> you know what I mean? And that um, five shows were all just for petrol money. Huh? Was yeah. Yeah. Wow, man, the crazy life. But I mean, the, pa the passion really definitely kept you there. Tell me, what would you do when somebody like lost their voice? I mean, every, every voice part is dependent on their own person like being there. Do you, is well, it quickly... I mean, that is the dynamic of when I chose the, the people individually. Yeah. It was because they were solo artists and I knew that unlike with other dynamics in bands, as in system ni verki dan kan ni anienum full. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For standing so I think that's where they double up. They're very versatile. Yeah, in that but regard. the guys still have to pitch up for the gig and sing. Yeah, very true. You still have to mime with oh. passion. Oh, really? Yeah, you just have to can, be crazy. Can you pull that off? No, we'd never mind, but I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> just, just if you needed to. Yeah, well, if we needed to. <laughs> if you really needed to. Not that we do. A question I wanted to ask, and I think many fans are asking it as well, if the, if the tickets sold out so quickly, I mean, we're talking a matter of days in Johannesburg, PE, and Cape Town. Yeah. Why not just bring the group back and just keep on missioning and just doing this because you, it's awesome and everybody loves it? You know what? It's nice to perform with these guys, but to rehearse with them, it mm. takes forever yeah. to just get something <laughs> done. <laughs> like, yeah. oh. I was perfectionist, you know, I'm going to work solo careers, you know, and, and I think we respect that. We respect that uh, Suriza has a family now and they're moving to um, uh, the Netherlands the and Netherlands, stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because his wife works for the Austrian embassy and stuff. And I think this is also just a, a nice brotherhood, as you would know, with Flip a Coin, yeah. for us just to get together again. So we were very pleased Johannesburg sold out in seven days, PE in four days, wow. um, Cape Town in ten days. Wow, and, but we've kept a few tickets behind because we have to ask Einde van die maand wat betaal, um, wat eerst jylle salaris kreep, einde van die maand. So we've, we've kept it for them behind so that they can lay by. It makes it so much more special that this treat is coming once in a lifetime. We're about to experience a little bit of that magic. What are you performing right now? A song called Jag Attack. Yeah. It's probably the first song that was written. The very first song, yeah. Didn't move. Hit it. Take it away. Here we go. It's about to go down. Been away for far too long, but the memory's still strong. We have come, we have gone, didn't know for how long. But you can see that we are back in your face, jacket attack. You didn't think that we'll make it, but we'll never fake it. Do you want to be that old? Everybody knows when you're walking down the road. Hey, my boy. Baltimore South Show. We don't like the guys who brag. Girls who like to nag. Don't forget where you come from. Then you can't go move it. Ah, Jagger Tech. Ah, Jagger Tech. Ah, Jagger Tech. Ah, move it. Ah, Jagger Tech. Ah, Jagger Tech. Ah, Jagger Tech. People think that we have changed. Our faces still remain as we grow from day to day. Some, Some of you, you believe you're safe, but that there is always talk. Most of you can walk the walk. You didn't think that we'll make it, but we'll never fake it. 
Coming at your new selector, home alive in the airwave chapter. The Cape South feeling that keeps your fingers flipping when the girls sing. Jag attack, Jag attack. It's a new found groove. Let me see you move. Everybody sing along and say, Move it, ah, Jag attack, ah, Jag attack, ah, Jag attack. Somebody drop the mic, Jag, in the studio. Check them out of the three venues. Yeah, the details so, will be on our website, expressoshow.com. We're going to take a quick ad break. We'll be, more, we'll be back with more here on Expresso. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> 